morning. Welcome to my next video. So as you can see we had torrential rain last night. I've never seen rain like it. Literally the burn was coming pretty pretty close to the top. And so it's just down there. I'm just going for a little walk and then I'm going to take myself for breakfast in the time mountain because I've not got a lot of food in. That's how my order comes so I figured I'd go and treat myself but I make myself get out for a bit of a meander before I go to work. So I've just come up past the reindeer centre. I decided to walk up this way a little bit. As you can hear, it's peaceful. Just birdies. I like it when it's like this. Pretty sure that path will bring you where it comes back down from Mila Bukal or up. Don't know where this one goes though. I'll go for a little walk. Um, don't think I might start serving breakfast till nine. And it's only like ten past eight. <coughs> so I've been up had a shower walk the dogs. Brought myself out for some fresh air. This kind of feels like path that I took when I went to the ha the high route to the green locker. Um but my name I suppose I don't remember much about that. So that was like the first couple of days I was here. Seems like a lifetime ago now, but it wasn't actually that long ago. It does feels familiar. Look at all the mist over the mountains. I love mornings like this when you've had a heavy downpour in the night and everything's peaceful and all I can hear is the brook and the birds. No other people about. Campsite's fairly quiet. It's just nice. Starting to see the lock through the trees just behind me. I figured I'd take a different path for a walk or a change. I do like walking around the lock, but when I start with Bank Holiday Weekend, Bank Holiday Monday, it's just busy. A lot of people about. And these paths are a bit less travelled. I've just been doing a bit of totting up, so it would be Friday coming, Monday today. Saturday coming. I'd have been here eight weeks. Friday coming, I've been gone for 11 weeks. So, in terms of actual time, it's not that long, but it feels like a lifetime, which is really strange. <laughs> I am enjoying it here though. I absolutely love the place and the people. I work with such a good bunch of people, it's really good. It's really helping me. Well, my tummy is hungry, so I think it's time head down and go and get my breakfast. I don't know what they do for breakfast because I've not been in. been in for tea, I've been in for dinner. I've not been in for breakfast yet. So I guess I'll see when I get there. And I'm not going back to the van because I've got my card with me and my phone. So I'll take you in there and show you what they do for breakfast. I didn't film in there because there was music playing but I'm stuffed. I'm gonna go to the loo and see my little dudes and get my uniform on and get ready for work. Dog. Happy dog! Happy happy dog! <laughs> you happy dogs! You happy dogs! <laughs> you think I've been gone for hours instead of about an hour and a half. <laughs> Evening now, that's it. Bank holiday Monday done. 
It's been mental. Like, literally. So many people are just turning up with no bookings. But we managed to fit everyone on, I think, that we can. Busy, busy. I just want to jump on and say a quick thank you to um, my lovely mummy who sent me some money um, towards my kit. Love you, mum, and thank you so much. I've got another thank you for motorhome mums again for buying me a coffee. I will get myself a hot chocolate for my new cup. I like my new cup, it's good. Thank you so much, lovely. You're so kind. So I'm going to have my cup of tea and then I'm heading to bed because I'm absolutely shattered. I'll see you in the morning. Morning and all. I was on the early, so I was up early, but I'm sat looking at my little map from the Forestry Commission, which is very good to be fair, but it's only small. I'm like, the Chalamine gap is down here and then gets off the map, so I think I'm going to have to bite the bullet, buy an ordnance survey map, and figure out how to read it. <laughs> Especially if I want to go a little bit further afield. So I was just working out what I want to do with my days off. Because the weather's not supposed to be bad, it's going to be like this, just a bit grey and a bit cool, but no rain. Fingers crossed. I need to figure out what I'm doing. Last day in, 9-5. End of the bank holiday, but we are pretty full. So it's going to be a full land day again. Morning all. First day off. I wish I could say it's been a chilled out morning, but it hasn't. I've uh, done my washing. There's only one washer working on site at the moment um, because it broke just before the back holiday and obviously the engineers were off over the back holiday so we can't get somebody else to look at it. Hopefully it'll be fixed soon. So I got up early to get a wash on before everybody else on site because we are full. Get got in there. <laughs> so my wash is done. Changed my bed in. Had my breakfast. What these two? And they've had their breakfast despite what Doug's telling you. So I'm going to have another cup of tea and get ready to go for a bit of a walk, I think. I think I'm going to go and explore the other side of the lock a little bit because there's a few trails leading up that I haven't done. Oh, my lock's turned up, so hopefully I can get that fitted. And then we can get off exploring. Get my Daisy, what are you doing up there? Hmm? What are you doing up there? You see the state of it is? That's food. You have to keep wiping it off with baby wipes. She's <laughs> such a tramp. Talking about you. Yes. Talking about you. Oh, she's so cute. Have a cup of tea in peace and I'll pick you back up when I get out on the trail. A lot of people have had a boarding on the lock, actually. But it's quite windy. I think they're higher ones though. So they're all the same colour. Sound like they're having a good time. There are a few people in the water. <laughs> So let's go and see if I can find this trail I'm looking for. Downloaded OS maps on my phone. Get it free for 14 days before you have to pay. So I'll see if I can figure out how to map read on it. Can there a lot of jets? I think they must be over the other side of the Cairngorms maybe. Sound loud here though. So I bought my little doggos, put them in the van. Uh, snoozing away. Take myself off for a couple of hours for a bit of a walk. There's jets again. I decided later because I'm not going on a massive walk today. Maybe tomorrow I'm going to dye my hair. Look at it. Really needs doing. I hate doing it because it takes so long. But I refuse to pay the cost of a hairdresser because it's so expensive. And my lovely hairdresser is back in Stockport. You know, I love and I miss, but it's a bit too far away to come and get my hair cut by her. I might have to go and get it cut though in Avimore. Needs doing. But I'm not paying to have it cut like a while. Some glasses back on, that's some bright now come out of the forest. Yeah, so we'll see. Jets are busy. See if I can figure out where I'm going. I've got a video idea. We'll see. It's a blue tea. One of the birds that I recognise. Got all sorts of you. Tell you something, it's warm in that sun. I have got my coat with me. 
I don't think I'm going to need it though. It's quite warm today. I have left the windows and doors down for the dogs. It's quite cool on site though. So there is a breeze, quite a cool breeze. It's quite nice when you're walking. Let's go over the bridge. I think it's over here where I'm going. The lot more looks circular, just behind me there. I've picked this trail to go up. I can see it on my OS map, so I'm not going to get lost. But it's really pretty. Look, a little bit steep. As you can see, not a lot of people do these trails. It's very quiet. Fair few people on the circular route around the lock and in the pine woods, but nobody up here. Apart from me. I'm not had out of breath, but look how far I've come up from the lock already. Path must have been steeper than before. Mind you, when you get on the circular already, a little bit above it. What a beautiful day. If you are going to come walking up here, recommend you cover up. No shorts. Um, ticks like to live in the heather, apparently. I've not found any on dogs yet, but they don't tend to go in long grass or heather because they're always on the lead. But I have got a tick hook in the van, just in case. Um, Nick and Jamie have found a couple on their dog, Alwyn. And I think Pixie, the little border collie, she's had one recently. So they are about come out of the little trail onto what looks like an old forestry road. Um, birds everywhere. Apparently, Capricalia are up here. But it's so rare you see them. You're lucky if you saw one. I bet they're out of spot in all the undergrowth as well. I keep my eye up though. Right over there is the boathouse where I go swimming and hang my stuff up. So that's where I am in relation to where we usually are. Obviously still a road used by the forestry. There's a big sign saying keep off the lugs. But I don't think you could probably get that many people up here. Maybe in the summer. Not at the minute, I've not seen another soul. And I am getting to the point where I'm going to have to have my first wild wee. But you can guarantee as soon as I need to go, there'll be people. So I've been avoided it. Shouldn't have had that second cup of tea. What I love about this place technically 40 minutes away from where I was before on site but it feels like you're in the middle of nowhere with no one it doesn't take a long time to get to those spaces here in Glenmore definitely my kind of place I missed it and I had my wild wee not enjoyable but necessary especially when you're in the middle of nowhere and no toilets it's very deserted up here. Since I headed upwards away from the lock, I've not seen another person. Even when I went to the curry, there were people. So I've just seen a big, big bird fly from one of the trees down the track. I just saw the, the back end of it, but it was huge. I have no idea what it was, though. I don't know if I'm pronouncing this properly, but that in front of me is Arigiod Mule. Top elevation 644 metres. I think I'm down to 400 metres at the minute. I don't know. See if we've got the energy to climb it. It looks good. I'm gonna carry on going. I think that means I've come to where I'm supposed to go. About to enter the hill enclosure for a reindeer herd, which is you for most of the year. Stay on the path. Dogs on leads. April to May, carving season. September to October, breathing season. Bulls can be dangerous. So we'll get over the steps. See if we see any reindeer. Those are pretty high for people with little legs. 
think the path goes this way. Beware of the bulls. I think this is the end of the road for shoes. Because that's just bog. We've come past a pretty boggy part already. But yeah, ain't going any further than that. Can't even see the path. <laughs> nice little walk up here though. Definitely got to go across here to get to Utsi's hut. Which is something I'm going to do when it's not like this. I went here on my way across and over there, I don't think. Unless you got wellies on. So I'm giving up. Go back over the fence. I can see it. It's over there. And also that trail is where you need to get up. Argyod mule. Um, but yeah, it's obviously a time for a... I think for another time, shall we say. So let's start hiking back down. Find somewhere to sit and have something to eat. Damn it, so close but so far. It's just there. <laughs> I need a fair bit of dry weather, I think, to dry all that paddock up. It's just a bog. Obviously with the reindeer in it and all the wet that we've had. Don't help. Oh well, I now know where I'm going to come and find it. That was my mission for today. And I've proved I can actually read a map. I didn't think I could, but I can. The difference a couple of weeks makes all the green starting to sprout up. It wasn't that long ago, it just all looked like winter. Pretty. Butterflies, bees. Really nice. It's very peaceful up here. Like, I'm sort of not seeing another soul since I left the circular. So for absolutely years I've been convinced I can't read maps and two places I've gone to in the past two weeks I've set out to find and I've found so clearly I can maybe, I don't know I don't know why I thought I couldn't but I can so that's good so I might pay for OS maps because that did help me a lot actually I had a big idea of the area that it was in just by looking at maps but yeah, that's helped me find it find the right trail to get on to get up here so once it dries out and summer comes i will bring you up to look at utzi's hut to tell you the story about him but until then we'll shelve that one it's a good story i have also got a little thank you to Maeve james for my super thanks thank you lovely i will go and get some cake um not decided what i'm doing tomorrow yet so depends on the weather if the weather's pants i might go down it's actually more See if I can get someone to chop my hair off <laughs> and get myself some cake. But yeah, I am really grateful. Thank you, lovely. And a lot of you are saying that I am looking happier in my videos. I am. I am settling into this new life on my own better now. I feel like I'm getting on a little bit of an equilibrium. Obviously, there's going to be peaks and troughs. Um, and as you saw, Previous videos have been quite down, but now I'm starting to find my happy again, which is good. This is helping no end about getting out in nature in the middle of nowhere. I really love it. I just love watching all the butterflies and the bees and the birds. But my mental capacity to be strong is a lot better than I thought it was, to be fair. So. Yes, I'm on an upward trajectory at the minute. I was a bit too hot last night, so I took the risk and put my cooler bedding on today. And I really hope it doesn't go cold again. <laughs> we'll see. Um, it seems to be warming up quite nicely, but you never know, the weather's just really unpredictable here. <laughs> I've been away from site now for about an hour and 40 minutes, so it doesn't take you that long to get up there. Um, it's not a massive hike to be fair, the first bit's a little bit steep and then you are on a, a little bit of an incline, obviously not accessible for people with mobility issues, not really push chairs either, the windy small paths, definitely a no-no. Um, and if you take dogs with you, you've obviously got to keep them on the lead. With the Capricale breeding and near the reindeers. But, nice little walk, getting me out and getting me confident finding my way about on my own but still not too far away from sight so 
yeah, I'm getting my confidence a little bit with doing these sort of things on my own. Most of you know, pretty much live in running leggings. Um, got these from Martin Warehouse. And I've got pockets like the ones from a TikTok shop purchase. Pockets and leggings, game changer. Um, after half a while getting my phone out of my bag, it's in my pocket. <laughs> Why do they not make more pockets in women's clothes? It's very annoying. I come from that direction, I've been in that direction, now I'm going in this direction because I think it will lead you back onto the lock circular from what I can see on OS maps. So I'll try a different route. In the distance through the trees you can see me in the buckle and all the ridges you can do for the other. They're called Corbett according to Brian, They're not um, mountains. <laughs> or Munro's. I think Munro's have got, are over, are they over a thousand feet? Something like that. But they're Corbett's because they're smaller. Our wind's getting up and it's quite nippy. Don't know where the sun went. Going on holiday again. See the lock down there. So I'm on the right track. That reading skills. Tick. <laughs> I'm hungry so I'm going to sit on these logs and eat some food because it'll still be a while before it gets the lock. Food eating. As always I leave nothing but footprints or bum print in my case on all the logs. I have to say, it's very clean in Glenmore. Um, a lot of people do pick up their litter. I highly recommend this walk if you want some peace and quiet because I've been out for two hours and I've been the first 20 minutes of my walk I'm not seeing another person. Just me. So if you want that sort of solitude, this is definitely a good walk to do. I don't know where I am. This trail will lead down onto the Loch Circular over in that direction is Rothy Merkis Lodge. So that's where the forestry have cut all the trees down through there. So I'm going to get towards the bottom end of the lock. I'll probably continue to do the lock circular up the old logging way and go back to site, I think. May as well make my legs work a little bit harder than they already have. And every single time I wear these leggings at a bar from Martin Warehouse, I'm reminded I need to cut the label off because it sticks right in my bum cheek and it's really itchy and annoying. I must do that when I get back. Obviously all these smaller walks and little little hikes are building up my stamina and my strength in order to do some bigger ones because I feel my legs getting a bit tired. I've been out for 2 hours and 20 minutes. Probably be another 20-30 minutes before I'm back at site. But I know Ben McDewey is a good 6-7 or seven hour track. So if I build myself up slowly to being able to be out on my feet for that long walking, climbing, then I will be able to do it. So the more I get out and walk, climb, all the trails around here, the easier I'm going to be able to tackle it. And that is my goal for this season. I'm going to do it. I never got to do Helvellyn when I was in the lakes last year. And that's one I really want to go and do. So I'm going to definitely do Ben McDewey while I'm here. Hopefully the weather will stay on my side because it didn't in the lakes by the time I decided I liked going hiking. <laughs> so the water in the lock's been pretty high up here. We had that rain last week. It would have uh, flooded us but I could see up where we were by the campsite how it flooded across the road and apparently it gets quite bad down here. bird over there sounds like a squeaky wheel. <laughs> Don't know what it is. Sounds really funny. There we go. So that's what I've walked today. 11.24 kilometers. Took me two hours and 48 minutes at an elevation of 115 meters and come down 120 meters. 
this map's app lets you plot your route that'll give you your elevation and how many kilometers you've walked so yeah, 11k fairly good walk <laughs> i didn't think i walked that far to be fair so i'm gonna start out this on in a little bit bit of a bit of clean i think i might be going for a swim later tonight and chill out with my little doggos it's quite warm it is so i've opened the windows as you can see oh, I just he's in bed and she's down here she wants to sit on my knee but she just doesn't sit still <laughs> my I'm doing what to do today because the weather keeps changing it keeps going sunny and then it really looks like it's going to throw it down so I don't know I really want to go and do the ridge behind me from me the buccal across the other couple of corbits I don't, if it pees it down that's going to be a bit of a sludge to get back down I don't know I'm kind of hanging on <laughs> other than that I might go into having more so we can find a nice hairdresser and get my mop cut and deciding but I had a very nice swim last night uh, me and Nick went with a lovely lady off the campsite um, for her first ever wild swim so that was really good it's still quite cold in the lock there were, I think it's about 10 degrees the water and the wind was quite cold last night so as soon as I got back I was in the van for the diesel heat run because it was cold and it rained all night here last night um, we could hear it on the roof every time we woke up it was quite cold last night. Kind of sorry I changed my bedding now. <laughs> it's quite warm today, it's about 13 degrees. Dogs are just pretty chill. I don't know why she's not in bed. She just likes to sleep by my feet. Probably have to buy her another bed, but I bet she wouldn't get on it if I did. So I think that's it for this video. Um, and I'll start whatever I do today on a fresh one. Cause it's still undecided, don't know what to do. The longer I hold off though, the more the weather's going to change, so I need to make my mind up and go and do something. Can't sit here all day. I'll be bored out my tree. It's not rain, it's just the awning. Oh, I need to show you something actually. Um, there's an addition. I'll show you. So, Sam, I've got a palette in half. And they've got one out of their van, I've got one out of mine. So I need another couple of them mats. I can screw them down. And then we won't be stepping on the mud. How good's that? Now oh, that makes gonna make a difference from the rain. It was this morning. Obviously the mat goes through when the dogs step on it. But yeah, for now, I'll sign this video out. Say so thanks very much for watching everyone. And I'll see you in the next one. See you later.